So HIMA has commissioned the exhibition as part of its wider project, the Muslim Memory Project, which is trying to build an archive, a resource of the contribution of mainly Kashmiri and Punjabi um, first generation Muslims that came to Nottingham, but their wider story of their involvement in World War II. And there's at least, to our knowledge, three living veterans of World War II from that background here, but their contribution hasn't been archived, there's no resources, and we really want to share that rich story to as many people as possible. So about eight years ago, I was volunteering at the Islamic Center, the central mosque in the city, and I kept meeting families at funerals, at bereavements, and they were saying to me, I never knew grandfather or my dad was involved in World War II. I've just found some medals in the attic. I've just found uh, some paperwork. And we had no idea what my grandfather was doing during this period of time. And I thought to me, this is a huge loss. I know other communities, particularly the Sikh Punjabi community, has very well documented its contribution, its story, and it's weaved itself into the common narrative of World War II and the British narrative. And at this moment in time, in this junction, where there's so many people who question the Muslim identity and, cross and contribution to Britain, that this important part of history needs to be brought out, shared, and woven back into the British historical narrative. I think the thing that I found very interesting was this kind of generational stories being handed down because we didn't talk directly to the people who were in the war because they're now passed away. But the way they have obviously told stories to their children and then their children's children, so it becomes a family oral uh, tradition. And listening to the people talking gave me a lot of information, the way they stopped and repeated certain things. And you could tell that some areas obviously affected them personally. Um, that was really interesting and the way that it's become a collaborative piece so the text and the oral storytelling becomes uh, written down material, becomes then archival research material, then becomes my interpretation in the paintings. The connection to Nottingham is that the, four, the five families that we spoke to are from Nottingham um, and they've moved here straight after the war and are part of our community. The project's been about four, taken four years to do, from start till now, and we haven't finished yet. And it's come about from a conversation we had with Sajid at, at Hima, uh, talking about people's experiences of the war, which had never been documented, and the younger generation don't know about. But it's also come about through a discussion with Hima about the rise of Islamophobia and the climate that, that happens within. Um, I was also reading a book by uh, someone called Yasser Morsi, who, it's a, it's a philosophy book about why he felt guilty as a child for the 9-11 attacks. And it's a discussion about how people uh, fit into a nation and don't fit in and how those narratives work. And we, what we've tried to do in the exhibition is talk about the past and sort of hint at the present, but really it's, it's about thinking about how things are included and excluded in historical narratives. I think we want people to think about uh, people think that uh, we arrived in this country after the war, but actually we have a, a history with England and the West dating back from the empire. And I think I want people to think about how that relationship develops over a 50 year period where we've looked at the two world wars and how that interconnections happen over that period of time and how their own sense of self has been shaped by events of that time because there's new, there's new identities formed, there's new nations formed, there's new ways of thinking formed. We start at, at the beginning of the century where everyone is Indian or African and they're seen as colonial subjects and by the end of the period we have all sorts of different nationalities, identities and people are, see, want to be independent but also the nation states uh, accepting the people need to be independent. And that, that has a whole set of ideas that come from that period that's really worth thinking about.